the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the Deep Roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Orzammar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Orzammar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Orzammar's impregnable construction, the dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endron of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the Noble Assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of Dwarven politics. Greetings, my lord. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? Agreed. Tonight's battles will be of politics and intrigue. A shield won't be all that useful. Of course, they might think you were too fearful to risk looking fearful. 
One can't take all this marching about and speech-making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. If you say so, listening to a hundred lords complain that their neighbors use the same underhanded tactics they themselves employ would tire on me after about, oh, a minute. Still, there are other excitements. As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Perhaps we should go show them what single combat is really all about. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. You remember last year's open proving? It took your father's smith six hours to remove my helmet. I'm not meant for single combat. I fight as my lord's second in shield. That's enough for me. Right behind you, my lord. The day is ours until the feast. I'm sorry. I thought you were Prince Balin coming down the hall. I... <laughs> forgive me. Prince Balin is attending the feast being held in Lord Iduken's honor. Yes, of... of course. <laughs> it was presumptuous of me to think that he would return to... I am sorry. I will show myself out with your leave, my lord. Go. Thank you. I will go now. It's in Please, Master Volney. My work is accredited by the Shaper. These books are lies written by the enemies of House Volney. I write only what I find in the ancient records. Lord Iduken, you can vouch for my work, can't you? Your father loved my history of Iduken, Paragon King, Peacemaker. This worm has written a book that slanders my house. He deserves to die for what he has written of Paragon Volney. My work tells the stories of all those raised Paragons in the last 500 years. When the Assembly names a Paragon, that man or woman is then, by definition, everything one can aspire to be in the world. They form their own noble houses and are revered as living ancestors. But Paragons start off as men. Volney was more than a man. Volney became a Paragon by the narrowest margin in history. One vote. A vote mired in rumors of intimidation, intrigue, and outright bribery. The records of that vote are kept in the shape of it and are a matter of fact. Not liking history doesn't make it any less true. You're taking his side? What if he published a book like this about your paragon Iduken? And Volney was not? Must you disparage a paragon? You've made a huge mistake. That fool has no idea how weak his house is or how low he sits in it. Shall I have him killed, my lord? Understood. You've shown yourself more daring and aggressive today than most believed of you. Someday I hope to write of the great exploits you are sure to perform. Word has been sent. You won't live past the hour. You've shown House Iduken a friend to research, history, and the glory of our people. Of course, heroism and pity for the small man have always been hallmarks of House Iduken. Now, I must try to make sense of these notes. Good day, Your Highness. And thank you. My lord Iduken, you honor me by visiting my humble booth. May I show you my wares? Because he has forgotten his place. A thousand pardons, please forgive me, your highness. This looks to be mostly fabrics from the human lands. These merchants form alliances with those who have abandoned our ways to live on the surface. It's a shame, I agree. Perhaps we should get going. I trust follow, big brother. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? 
Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my sibling second, I will ask for it. Yes, Your Highness. Your lack of a sense of duty to your house is obvious. I can't imagine why you are receiving a commission. I expect after tomorrow I'll spend much time apologizing to the heads of the noble houses for the deaths of their children under your incompetent command. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, Trian? As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment upon those who need it. Now then, you, get to the feast! I'd advise you to watch that tongue, dear sibling. Father will not live forever. Come, Balin. That was fun. Nothing like being talked down to by the next king. We can only hope. Perhaps we should get going. What have we here? Two handsome, strapping noble lords. You both look so grand. And isn't this the man of the hour, the king's son? Who's your friend, my lord? Another noble from the honored house I do in? But not from a noble house, girls. Sargorum warrior cast. Oh, that's too bad. You're quite handsome. They're noble hunters, my lord. A man takes his cast from his father, and these women hope to bear a noble lord's son. If one is successful, she's raised up to concubine in the noble house to care for her child. It provides new sword arms for the house, and many nobles look favorably on such women. Well, you're the most appealing, obviously. A noble from the best house there is. Handsome, too. Are you interested in a bit of bedded diversion? Shall I come to your chambers after the ceremony, then? I talked to him first. I want him. He's looking for a woman, Telly, not a little girl. I'm Marty, and I know how to give my lord a night he'll remember. Oh, my lord has his energy about him. There will be no three to a bed, if that's what you're thinking. We both require full experiences all to ourselves. If you think you can manage us both, though... This should prove most interesting. We will wait for you together, my lord, and show you the proper way to celebrate a princely commission. My lord, are you heading to the Proving Arena? You are not to address the Lord Idukin unless spoken to first. Forgive me, Sir Gorham. I, I meant no offense. Back to your duties. But sir, this is my duty. I am to escort our new commander to the Proving Grounds. I clean forgot about that. Forgive me, I should have informed you sooner. The King decided you were not to travel through the commons unguarded. I did mention the merchants that won permits to show their goods in the Diamond Quarter. There were only so many permits auctioned off, and quite a few were turned away. Your father fears you will be harassed on the way to the Proving. Will we be leaving then? We are at your command. Highness, it is an honor to have you here. Have you come to watch these brave warriors do battle in your honor? Your Highness, this proving is in your honor. Then honor him by doing as he says. My Lord Idukin will fight in this proving. Of course, it is well within your rights. Men and women of Orzammar, we have a late entry to these provings, held on the eve of battle for the honor of House Idukan. I give you the Lord Idukan himself! Are you ready for your first match? Then let us begin! This is a glory proving. Fought under the watchful eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar for the honor of House Idukan. 
before thy Dukan will fight, and there Bimo, youngest son of Lord Bimo. You honor me with this match. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The winner is Lord Idukan. That was quite a fight. Alair Bimo is no slouch with that hammer. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent. Let us go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the watchful eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar. For the honor of House Idukan. Lord Idukan will fight a dull Helmi, eldest daughter of Lady Helmi. Honor and glory to your house, Your Highness. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The winner is Lord Idukan. That was a crowd pleaser. Many were waiting to see that woman put in her place. Sir Blackstone is your next opponent. Are you ready to face him? Then let us begin! This is a glory proving. Fought under the watchful eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar. For the honor of House Idukan. Lord Idukan will fight Sir Blackstone. Deep Road Squad Leader of the Warrior Cast. This is your education, child. Try to learn as you bleed. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The winner is Lord Idukan. Well done. You have proven that even the best of the Warrior Cast cannot match a noble Idukan. Brandland Ivo is your final opponent. He too has had many victories today. Are you ready to face him, or will you rest first? Of course. This is a glory proving. Fought under the watchful eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar. For the honor of House Idukan. Down to just two warriors. With backbones of stone and wheels of iron, they have defeated all others this day. Lord Idukan will fight Frandlan Ivo, second son of Lord Ivo. You fight well. I wish you glory today and glory tomorrow. First warrior to fall is vanquished. The victor is champion! Fight! The winner is Lord Idukan! Congratulations! Friend and Ivo is as fierce a competitor as I've ever seen. You vanquished every warrior of note in today's proving. The ceremonial helm, commissioned by your father for today's winner, is yours. As you say. My lord. You heard the man. Your wish is our command. Many thanks for your willingness to hear me out, my lord. I wish to speak to you of a matter most urgent. It looks as if the heads of House Bimo and Mino are keeping your father busy. Which leaves you plenty of time for our dear old friend, Lord Dace. You're a credit to your caste, Sir Gorham. I've always said so. If I had a daughter, I'd give her to you and make you the noble you deserve to be. You honor me, my lord. First, let me congratulate you on your commission. Two of King Endrin's children now commissioned war leaders. It does great honor to your house. Of course, I didn't stop you just to express my loyal affections. But there is a vote coming before the assembly next week. And a word from you could go a long way towards helping our cause. 
Oh, I would never ask a favor with nothing given in return. I propose a mutually beneficial arrangement. The vote concerns the status of the so-called surface caste. Lost to the stone, air-touched, and so forth. Centuries ago, narrow-minded men declared that any dwarf who left to live on the surface forfeited his caste and his house if noble. That he was, in essence, no longer a dwarf. I seek only to remedy an injustice, to retie the bonds of anyone who can trace himself to one of the noble houses wherever he may live. Please, agree to speak for this noble cause. Let's be honest. I don't care a whit for those who have wandered from the stone. My wife, however, is a gem of a different color. She has a cousin, a useless sort, but she's quite fond of him. He joined a speculative venture to the surface, hoping to make his fortune, and went bust. Now he wishes to come home, but he cannot, for he has no house and would be castless. For my wife's sake, I take up his cause. Will you lend me your voice? I keep my ears to the stone, my lord. I hear many things, some of which could be a great help during your mission tomorrow. A little forewarning to help your forearming, if you know what I mean. I am quite disappointed in your lack of sympathy. Good day to you. You return. Could it be you've changed your mind? Excellent. You have my thanks. When your father presents you to the noble houses, I will ask for your opinion on the matter. You have merely to say that you feel our surface brothers should be returned their noble rights. What could be more simple? Your mother would melt the stone if she knew what you just did. Do not mock me, boy. Lord Dace is playing you false. Go ahead, be his puppet. Your first command will be marked by every major house turning their back on you. Last spring, a guild from the Merchant Cast invested heavily in an expedition with a guild from the surface. Lord Dace backed the Merchant Guild, pouring a great deal of money into the venture. The expedition was a disaster. Clever child. Lord Dace lost a great deal of money and prestige. The Surface Guild has no way to repay the investment, but it does have several leading members who are descended from noble houses. House Helmy, Bimo, I Dukin. You begin to see the whole picture. Your house and mine would be forced to pay the servicers' kin debts. It would be a great victory for Lord Dace. Just so, my clever friend. Smile and nod, and when he asks his question, Tell him that the so-called surface cast are right where they belong. That should take Lord Dace down a peg or two. Good. Your house's reputation hangs in the balance. Greetings, my Lord Idukan. It is an honor to meet you at last. I have had the opportunity to recently meet with your father. He speaks highly of you. He says you may be the most skilled warrior in all of House Idukan. I have no doubt it is deserved. We need more Grey Wardens like you, and quickly. Even as the Darkspawn weaken here in Ozimor, they are stirring on the surface. A blight has begun. Soon the fight must go beyond the deep roads, lest the Darkspawn threaten all the world. <laughs> Alas, I do not think he would take kindly to that suggestion. As the child of the king and heir after Lord Trion, your place is here. I wish you luck in the deep roads tomorrow. Show the darkspawn the might of your people. My king, please reconsider. Trade contracts alone could bring great prosperity to our houses. Will we really turn our back on our brothers and a potential fortune in cheap labor because of a political technicality? Denial of the traditions of our people does not qualify as a political technicality. There is more to life than monetary gains, my lords Bimo and Mino. The assembly of Kal Sharak will respect the rule of Ozamar. 
or they will rot and die alone, surrounded by enemies. Yes, my king. But look, we have company to spare us further wrangling. A trust Valar, my son. How fine you look in your great-grandfather's armor. I hear you were declared champion of the Provings. <laughs> I suppose you were never one to sit by when something exciting was going on. Are you ready to be presented to the heads of the noble houses? So dutiful. <laughs> Very well, let us begin. Lords, ladies, grant me a moment of your time. We are here today so I may present to you my second eldest child. Blessed by the stone and born of the blood that ran in the veins of the Paragon Idukan. Who would pose a question to the prospective commander? Who seeks to know the prospect better? I have a question. I seek to know the prospect better. Lord Dace, head of House Dace, speak. Lords, ladies, my question concerns the plight of our wayward kin, the so-called service caste. What does the commander prospect think is the proper place for these lost souls? Are you satisfied, Lord Dace? Do you feel you have learned something about the Prospect? Yes, my king. Then if there are no other challenges, I give you Orzammar's next commander. Tomorrow, our newest commander will lead part of a mission to strike a great blow to the Darkspawn. Not only does this recover access to some of our most important minds, but it also allows our honored guest Duncan, head of Ferelden's Grey Wardens, to strike far into the deep roads. Thank you, King Endrin. While the Darkspawn seem to withdraw, it is only because they are massing on the surface. This could mean a blight, and my men and I will discover the truth. We are honored to have you with us, my friend. Now, feast, drink, and celebrate, for the morning brings battle! As for you, my new commander, find your brother Trian and send him to me. He may be watching the Provings, or getting some rest in his rooms. Walk well, commander. So you are a commander now, in name at least. Shouldn't you be attending our King Father? Of course he does. We must discuss strategy before tomorrow's battle. Balin, stay here and stroke the new commander's conceit if you like, but then get to bed. All day I've put up with that. He can really grate on the nerves. Is it also his right to secure his own power at the expense of everyone around him? Unfortunately, I am. Trian has begun to move against you. I never thought his much-proclaimed honor would allow him to actually act on his jealousy, big brother. Trian is going to try to kill you. I overheard him giving orders to some of his men, and I was shocked. Then it began to make sense. Trian's decided you're a threat to his taking the throne. Maybe he's right. It would be unusual for the Assembly to ignore the King's choice, but it does happen. The founder of House Bimo became a paragon and king in one move from the assembly, and he was a commoner. That was an extraordinary case, but at least a half dozen times the assembly named a lesser family member, or even someone from another house, as king. Usually, it's the popular younger brother of an undesirable prince. Look at it from his perspective. You're more personable than he's ever been. You entered the Provings held in your own honor just for glory and to please the crowds. If you win glory against the Darkspawn tomorrow, it will only strengthen the case for you as the next heir. Trian Veer's father will replace him on the spot. If not, the Assembly will surely turn against him when father dies. You know his pride will never allow him to step aside. It seems Trian has shown that brothers can't always be trusted. I am next in line. If Trian succeeds in his plot against you, how long do you think I'll live? Permission to speak freely? Trian would make a terrible king, but no one wants to say it. 
He has just enough backing in the assembly to make it ugly when your father dies, but not enough to become king. Killing him now makes your house stronger and saves a great deal of bloodshed later. Very well. I'll keep my eyes open. I don't want to lose the brother I actually like. I hope you're right, but my heart says this will end badly. I'm taking your place as father's second, so I'll be at hand tomorrow. For now, try to get some sleep. Let's go. You don't want to keep those lovely ladies waiting. Treon and his men will clear the way for the Grey Wardens to descend into the easternmost caverns. Those caverns are still infested by the worst of the Darkspawn. We cannot risk our own troops in there. Understood, Lord Haramont. We should be able to sense the Darkspawn and avoid them once the way is open. May the Paragons favor you, and the stone catch you if you fall. Come then! Glory awaits! Balin. You and your men will second the king, clearing the main road. Don't you think it looks a little cowardly to allow these humans to take our place where the fighting is thickest? Are you questioning the battle plan? Of course not. I'm sure your caution is for the glory of us all. Enough, Palin. Take your men and make ready. Paramount and I need to have words with your sibling. Good luck, my brother. Your father has a special mission for you. In the eastern deep roads, there is a secret door carved into the stone. The door leads to a tie, abandoned long ago by your ancestors. The Darkspawn have made it impossible to reach it. My father believed that the shield of the Paragon Idukan remains in that tie, under the stones of the central room. We claim the shield, and glory will be yours. We've sent two scouts ahead to make sure the tunnels are cleared, but be careful. One of the scouts will meet you at the first crossroads you come to. The second will be further in. When you get to the door, use your signet ring to open it. Questions? Very good. The crossroads where you meet the first scout will be the rendezvous point. There you can present the shield to the lords and demonstrate the strength of Idukin. May the ancestors watch over you, my child. You made it, Commander. Did you run afoul of any Darkspawn? Still, that was more than we expected. Once I finished scouting the tunnels, I hid here to avoid the Darkspawn. Most tunnels are dead ends. The one we want is swarming with those fiends. It's going to be a fight. I was, indeed. Would that I had been good enough to beat you. May today's battles bring us even more glory. I'll take rear guard. Shall we move? You're here? I thought the Darkspawn had got you for sure. Apologies, Commander. There's not a ton of formality down here in the Deep Roads. We want the tunnel ahead, but there are Darkspawn tracks all over it. Be careful. I haven't ventured more than a hundred yards ahead, for fear of alerting other Darkspawn. I'll follow your lead, Commander. Looks like someone beat us to the door. This Darkspawn body is still fresh. Whoever opened the door is most likely still in there. It could have been stolen. Recently, or generations back. Or it could be an ambitious cousin out for his own glory. Understood. Let's move, men. So glad you could finally join us. We feared you'd gotten eaten by Darkspawn. Turns out the shield isn't quite as easy to retrieve as I was led to believe. I wager you know where it is, though. So maybe you tell me where it is, and I won't mutilate your body so bad your father doesn't recognize you. I'll try to hide my disappointment. Just kill them, boys. We'll find this shield on our own. Oh, is that an Idukin signet ring? I guess that's how they got in here. 
The ring is Trian's. That means he... Or it may be a warning for us to keep our guard up. I will guard your back. Now perhaps we should find the shield. You're looking bright-eyed this morning, my lord. I trust you had a restful night. Feeling a little more... Uh, virile? Ready to slay the Darkspawn with sheer masculine power? Oh, believe me, I was doing plenty of imagining. I can't believe you didn't invite me. Anyway, we should keep moving. Genlocks aren't likely to stop and commiserate with my inadequacies. This is the room. How do we get the shield? You two, see if you can spot anything. That's it. We've got it. It doesn't look like much. The skill of our crafters has come far since then. But still, the shield of Idukan. I can feel it. It's inspirational. You say so. It's just a shield. Back in the direction we came from, at the crossroads. To the crossroads. Trian were really scheming against us, this would be the perfect place for an ambush. We've got the shield, and we're all alone out here. I wish I had your confidence. What's that you're muttering about? Uh-huh. All right, then. By the stone, it's Trian! It must have been a dark spawn attack. This doesn't look like Darkspawn. No bites, no scratches, no mutilation. Someone's coming! Hurry, Father! Before it's too... Ancestors, what has happened here? It seems we weren't fast enough. Baland was right. My son, tell me this isn't what it looks like. Just long enough to slay Trian. My lord is innocent. Sir Gorham, your loyalty makes you a useless witness. It falls to others to tell the story. You, Scout, what happened here? Trian and his men were here early. It seems they'd done battle with the Darkspawn. Lord Idukin came up to them all friendly-like, but when we got close, he ordered us to attack. It is a valid question. The man is lowborn and could easily be bought. Friend Lenivo, you are a good and noble man. Did the scout speak the truth? He... he did, my lord. It was terrible. Prince Trian didn't stand a chance. Afterward, my lord stripped his signet ring. You treacherous bastard! Silence, Gorham! Do you have anything else to say, my son? I want to believe that. I really do. Bind him. He will be judged before the assembly. To Orzammar. would have come sooner had they allowed it. How are you? I understand. It's going to get worse, though. Balin has taken Trian's place in the assembly. He introduced a motion to condemn you immediately, and it easily passed. He had fully half the assembly ready to vote on something completely against tradition and justice. He must have been making deals and alliances for months, if not years.
I'm afraid so. Some of the lords, especially Harrowmont, are suspicious of Balin's instant rise to power. They are rallying, but far too slowly. The Assembly has already sentenced both of us. My knighthood will be stripped, my name torn from my family records. But I will be allowed to attempt some sort of life on the surface. Lord Harrowmont moved for a similar exile for you, but Balin's supporters overwhelmed him. You are to be sealed in the deep roads to fight Darkspawn until you are overwhelmed and killed. Lord Harrowmont says the King has taken ill. He couldn't bear losing two of his children at once. Lord Harrowmont gave me access to see you so I could tell you this. Duncan and the Grey Wardens are still in the deep roads, in tunnels connected to those you are to be left in. If you survive long enough to find the Grey Wardens, you may be able to escape with Duncan. There are worse ways for a warrior to live than fighting the Darkspawn with such allies. If you can find them, I'm sure you can join them and escape the Deep Roads. I beg to go with you and fight at your side, but Balin's pet nobles wouldn't hear of it. I'm going to try to go to Denerim, the human capital. If you make it out, find me. Our time is up. May the Paragons guide your sword and the stone hold you up. I will always be your man, my lord Idukin. They are ready for you now. Where is the prisoner, Lord Harrowmont? Having been found guilty of fratricide by the Assembly of Orzammar, you are hereby sentenced to exile and death. Your name is from this point forward stripped from the records. You are no longer a person nor a memory. You are to be cast into the deep roads with only sword and shield, there to redeem your life by fighting the enemies of Orzammar until your death. Do you have anything to say before the sentence is carried out? I want to believe that. Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't do this for your father's sake. I believe you. That means Balin planned this from the start. Believe me, I will spend the rest of my days making sure Balin does not profit by his deeds. Your father asked me to give these to you. This sword and shield are a fine dwarven make. Strike a blow at our enemies. I will. Open the doors and let the condemned walk through. May the stone accept you when you fall. Lord Idukan, what are you doing here alone? Where are your troops? And you as well. Although I'm still filled with questions, such as why are you here in these tunnels alone? May I ask what happened? Ah, you have been made to walk the deep roads then. You mean you were exiled? What happened? I do not think matters of dwarven honor are any business of ours. You need not answer, friend. Lord Trian? I see. The brutal intrigue of the Dwarven Court continues then. Your father intimated as much. There is no reason for you to walk these deep roads and die for something you did not do. You have already proven yourself both resourceful and skilled, and I would expect nothing less from an Idukan. I've been searching for those with your level of ability, your exploits in the Deep Road set you apart. As leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden, I would like to formally invite you to join our order. Then welcome. We leave immediately for Ostagar to join with the human forces facing the Darkspawn hordes led by King Kaelin. Stay close. There are still Darkspawn around every corner.